This is Hot Brixton. Not surprisingly, it's in Brixton. It is a brand new hub. It opened last Friday. We're here, I don't know why I'm looking at my wrist. We're here on Thursday to see exactly what it's like. It is full of food vendors, bars, shops. There's some live music there. There's a lot more of this place to come. I'm told there's like design studios and offices. Kind of creepy, but it was an abandoned ice rink. <laughs> I don't know why it gets into the creeps so much. It was an abandoned ice rink for four years. No, I've done this with it. What, what, what are you doing what here? Give me, give me a little, a little snapshot. We're a New Zealand wine shop. So everything in the shop is available at the same retail price. So you can drink anywhere within Pop Brixton. We don't put normal restaurant markups oh, on our bottles. Marlborough, Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah! Sauvignon, right? <laughs> Go on, tell me what you can I get like a nutty, like a nutty vibe of it. No? You can't tell me I'm wrong. Do you know what it is that I'm smelling that food? <laughs> Bye vibe. This is Baba G's. It smells good. I have no idea what they do. So I'm going to ask one of these cool dudes what they're doing. These are the Bangor Burgers, yeah? Right. So right now we're doing some Bangor Burgers. We've got some masala fries. We're doing the crazy lamb jack crazies. The crispy chicken tikka nuggets. Chicken tikka burgers as well. And we've got the Bombay Ami for the vegetarians. Yeah? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Stuff, man. These guys do crepes and I love the crepes. Is it crepes or crepes? <laughs> no idea. Red onion chutney, ghost cheese and spinach. Yes! Briefly, what do you, what do, you do? I think I can tell what you do. <laughs> I sell vintage clothing yep. and um, ladies accessories. Yep. And we also upcycle customised clothes and also do alterations. And your place is called? Make Do and Mend. When I was talking to Leo, the creative director, he was telling me that this place has been made on no budget. That like he literally had had to cost about zero pounds to make this whole thing work. And you can kind of tell they've done that, but in the best possible way. It does still look awesome. Chipboards and tables and chairs. Best in lighting school. They've done it so well. It's got such a good vibe, but it's literally cost them about 20 packets of quavers. <laughs> We're in Hook. Brixton. Yeah. I've been told you are reinventing fish and chips. We are reinventing, reimagining, and revamping fish and chips. And could you briefly tell me how you're doing that? Everything from lime mint and wasabi, tempura with a basil and chili sauce, or Ethiopian Maybe. berber spice with berber spice, uh, berber sweet potato. Yeah, I've never up. ever heard that with fish and chips. Uh, piri piri spiced haddock with seaweed sauce and chips, lime, coriander and piri piri sauce. Yeah. Right, is there lemon and basil tempura, sea bream with garlic truffle sauce and seaweed sauce and chips. Pure and delicious. That is amazing. Thank you very much, Barry, you legend. Tell me about it. You know, the Harveys, it's a celebration of all things fabulous. I was going to play a little bit of dress up. Wait, I'll go put everything on. There's a bra over there. Right, uh, what else? This is the stage where bands play here, they have comedy gigs here at night. This little guitar with a chair says, please play me, so I kind of had to play it. <laughs> Got a really loud laugh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is. This is homegrown. So we're doing espresso martini. So I love it. This is fresh from the coffee machine. Well, that's nice. Yeah. This is our signature tomato juice. That's the base of our Bloody Marys. Oh. I'm not expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Packs a punch as well. It's deceiving. It's more stylish. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hannah. See you guys. See you later. I think the sun is officially set now. It's now, I guess, night time at Hot Brixton. So, obviously, Will and I want a couple of drinks. There's a cool little bar up here with like a balcony, so <laughs> we're gonna go see that. So we got ramen here. I've never, I've never really got into ramen. It's just like stock or something, isn't it? <laughs> so it's met a lovely lady called Aurora. Aurora? Who gave me quite a beautiful lychee vodka shot. Didn't expect it to have a whole lychee in it though. This would be an amazing day. This would be an amazing day. I know this place, you know, come with me. They went on holiday to Thailand, saw this mad way of making ice cream. I say mad way of making, just making ice cream. And they just pour the cream on, freeze it, cut it all up, put those toppings on it. And they're doing a pretty good trade. Apparently, things you drink here is red stripe. 
and Pim Slider. Thank you very much. Cash money. I'm talking to camera by the way, I'm not talking just to like random, just talking to the plants. And there is someone here, so 450 for a pint. If you're not in London, you'll be like, what? Yeah. It's not bad for London, and you are here, so. Our channel isn't all about food, but obviously there are a lot of food places here. It's generally just an amazing place to come out and spend the whole evening, like Will and I have. We've been here for hours. It's relatively small, but they've packed so much in. I love how they're all like startups, they've all got their own little sort of business. They care so much about what they do. Spend the whole evening here, drink, music goes on at night. If you want to carry the night on, there's clubs and stuff just out there. A dog star, if you're really pissed. Oh, sorry. The weird concoction of food we've eaten tonight. Well, it's now time to put this camera down. Chug on those beers.